Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try out some questions. Question number 1. Multiply the binomials 2.5L minus 0.5M and 2.5L plus 0.5L. So here also the same concept 2.5L minus 0.5M multiplied to 2.5L plus 0.5M. So in this case, each term of this expression should get multiplied to both the terms of the next expression. Similarly, the second term should also get multiplied to both terms of the next expression. So we can write it as 2.5L into 2.5L plus 2.5L into 0.5M minus 0.5m into 2.5l minus 0.5m into 0.5m. So let's perform the multiplication. 2.5 into 2.5 is 6.25. L into L is L square. Similarly, 2.5 into 0. 2.5 into 0. 0.5 lm. So this becomes again 2.5 into 0 0.5 ml minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 m into m is m square. Now if you compare this term and this term both of these are like terms and they are equal in values. One is with a plus sign the other one with a minus sign. So they both cancel out each other because they both will together give 0. So therefore the final answer would be 6.25 l square minus 0 0.25 m square. Question number 2. Find the product p square minus q square multiplied to 2p plus q. So again, we just follow the same logic. Doesn't matter what the problem is. You just keep following the same logic. First term getting multiplied to both the terms of the next expression. Second term again getting multiplied to both the terms of the next expression. So this becomes p square into 2p plus p square into q minus q square into 2p minus q square into q. So this becomes equal to 2 into 1 would be 2, p square into p would be p cube. So here it would be p square into q that is p square q. Here it would be 2 into p q square and here it would be q square into q that is q cube. So 2 p cube plus p square q minus 2 p q square minus q cube. Question number 3. Simplify. So here again you have an expression. So first we need to multiply and simplify the same. So you have a binomial x plus y multiplied to another binomial 2x plus y. And then this needs to be added to another binomial and another product of two binomials. So this is product of two binomials, this portion. Similarly, this portion is product of two binomials. So first let us find out these two products and then we can add the two. So here two binomials, so x would get multiplied to both of these and then get added. Y will get multiplied to both of these and then get added. So this would be x into 2x plus x into y plus y into 2x plus y into y. Right? So this would be the entire simplification of the first expression. Now let us look at the second expression again. So here also x to be multiplied to both of these terms that is x into x minus x into y plus 2y into x minus 2y into y. So this becomes x into 2x would be 2x squared, x into y would be xy, y into 2x would be 2xy, y into y would be y squared. Similarly, this side it would be x squared minus xy plus 2xy minus 2y squared. So let's bring this out of the bracket. So if this would be xy plus 2xy plus y squared plus x squared minus xy plus 2xy minus 2y squared. So this is what you finally get. Now let us try to rearrange to get the like terms together. So which are the terms with the same algebraic factor x squared? So you have two such terms. So let's put them together 2x squared 
plus x square. So they are together. So how many terms do we have with the same algebraic factor x, y? So there are many such terms x, y plus 2 x, y minus x, y plus 2 x, y. So there are four terms like that. So we will put them together. Finally, how many terms do we have with the same algebraic factor y square? So we have plus y square minus 2y square. So let's put these together. So 2x square plus x square. So 2 plus 1 is 3x square. Here, let's add all that with plus sign. So this is 1xy. So 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 is 5xy. So 5xy minus 1xy. That is 4xy. And finally, y square minus 2y square. So 1 minus 2 would be minus 1. So this would be minus 1y square. So this is equal to 3x square plus 4xy minus y square would be the final answer. Question number 4. Simplify a plus b plus c multiplied with a plus b minus c. So here you have a trinomial this side and a trinomial this side. So you basically need to find out the product of two trinomials. So what you will do, each term of this trinomial should get multiplied to each term of the next expression, right? That means A should get multiplied to A, A should also get multiplied to B, A should also get multiplied to minus C. Similarly, B should get multiplied to A, B should also get multiplied to B, B should also get multiplied to minus C. In a similar way, C should get multiplied to A, C should also get multiplied to B and C should also get multiplied to minus C. So with this, we get A square plus AB minus AC plus AB plus B square minus BC plus AC plus BC minus C square. So now let's rearrange to put the like terms together. So a square plus b square minus c square because for such terms you do not have any other like terms. Let's talk about ab. So do we have like terms for ab? So you have one ab here, you have one ab here. So let's put the two ab's together. What about ac? So you have one minus ac here plus ac here. So minus ac plus ac will give zero. Then you have BC. So minus BC plus BC will again give 0. So therefore you are left with A square plus B square minus C square plus 2AB. This would be your final result. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.